and of course the uh, the tripod that I wanted to use to film this isn't working either. Excellent, wonderful start. Um, so yeah. Anyways, the long and short of it is I got fired today. Very cool, super duper awesome. I have a microphone. Recording audio through headset. Oh, excellent. That means that hopefully the mic works and I didn't fuck something else up today. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm playing with y'all. Check on the bird feeder. Knock, knock, knock. Any birds up here? I don't think so. It's actually the sun's about to set. I don't really think I need these right now. But anyway, yeah, I was fired today. You know, you come to you come to the woods. You come. I don't know. It, it just it still kind of sucks. I'm not really super stressed out. I uh, I am pretty confident that I. Uh, I am pretty confident. Dude, like the loosest tripod ever. I'm unemployed for a little while and I just thought I'd make this video to give, give myself something to do and take my mind off of things and just work on a hobby that I'm really interested in. And I thought I'd Get out of the house a little bit too. Breathe in some fresh air. Take in a view of nature a little bit. And uh, I don't know, I could just make something fun and goofy, but uh, something from the heart, something from the soul. Got some, got some poopy. That's the berries you don't want to eat. Frigid February day and that water is tranquil and relaxing. Oh me, oh my. You never want to get fired, right? It's always, um, It's always nice to be the one doing the breakup, not the one being dumped. Look at the water here. Dude, it would ruin, it would just make my day if my phone slipped out of this shitty tripod and fell into the water. That would be the icing on top of the cake. Here's something that I've struggled with. I recently did a play Everyone who watches my YouTube videos, I feel 99% of you know me in uh, some sort of personal capacity. I've got like one dude named Mike who I don't know IRL. And uh, I'm guessing I, I, I know pretty much the rest of you. Um, but I, I did a show recently when I did uh, Death of a Salesman. Anyways, Biff, he has this monologue and he says, what the hell am I grabbing this pen for? Why am I trying to become something that I don't want to be? What am I doing in an office building, making a contemptuous begging fool of myself when all I want is out there waiting for me the minute I say I know who I am? Why can't I say that? Part of me, I, I, looking back on that, I think struggled with that because I felt like, um, I, I felt like such a hypocrite. Like I, it was so disingenuous and fake of me to be saying these kind of grand things while in my own personal life, I uh, struggled at a nine to five job that I, I just hated. Um, 
I just, I felt like such a closed off and uh, bitter and hateful person working there. And I, that's, I'm not blaming them, but this was an unintended byproduct of me working there. So anyways, I just, I don't know. I, I felt like so phony spouting these lines out every night and not living these same ideas. And I, you know, what, what, what are you going to do about it? Um, I, I, I'm not working here because I love it, but I'm not working any job because I love it. I remember as a kid, I had this book. Uh, I, I wish I could remember what it was called off the top of my head. It was a Mercer Mayer book. He had a whole, whole line of children's, uh, you know, books that were geared towards uh, maybe like a preschool, elementary school audience. I ate them up as a kid. I, I had so many of them. And one of them, one of the kind of more like geared towards younger ones, if I remember it correctly, one of them was a book all, all about like different careers people could have and what uh, a person could do. And it, you know, it had like accompanying illustrations and all that. And I just, even as a kid, I have this visceral memory of like going through that book and thinking, why would anyone want this? Why would anyone choose to spend their time in a way that wasn't exactly how they wanted to spend their time? Wow, look at that shot. <sighs> None of the crap in that book looked that interesting to me. And except for one thing. There was a page and uh, like one of the careers, I need to buy this book or find it or something because I, I, I I'm, might be misremembering the plot, but I am not misremembering this part. One of the careers in the book was Hobo. Like they, it, Hobo was one of the, one, one of these career options. And to me as a kid who's like reading these job titles and has to assess whether or not they're desirable based solely off of the, uh, the, the picture accompanying the job title, uh, I latched onto that as a kid. The, the hobo in that book, I remember being a chill guy who just did, it looked like he was like doing his own thing and could do whatever he wanted. And I, I, for a very long time in my childhood, I was like, yeah, I'll be a hobo. Why not? So effing gorgeous. I want to, um, look, somebody left some cool, protective charms up mad respect and look somebody over here left a deflated workout ball also also mad respect here are some notes i took at work that are related to my previous job this is an act of symbolism. Symbol symbolism is It's dawned upon me that although this is a cool shot, um, maybe I should be burning things closer to the water. So I guess I'll go do that. Getting up the hill is the easy part. It's always a trip down 
It's muddy, muddy banks that you gotta look out for. I felt like I had so much to talk about in my head and like it would take so long. Oh, the nature of working. Of course, nobody wants to work. Who in their right mind wants to devote their time to something that they're not passionate about? But, you know, it's something you have to do. Uh, you know, if not for yourself, for the people in your life that love you and that you spend your time with and who on some level or another rely on you to meet certain certain obligations and suddenly suddenly the premise of work becomes less alien less strange less incomprehensible to my six-year-old mind because you understand that you're working for someone and you find joy and comfort out of being able to provide for those who you feel close to. <sighs> Just fucking sucks that it has to be that way, you know? We learned during the pandemic uh, the, the government has the means of just taking care of anyone. Everyone. Uh, we don't have to spend $20 billion blowing up children uh, on the other side of the world. It's, uh, it's not the way it has to be, which I think just adds to my frustration of things. Well, I'll say... That's the most perfect looking pile of thistle to set my tripod on I've ever seen. Look, these are notes from a meeting I was at literally yesterday. Why, why did I waste my time at that meeting yesterday? What, what did that hour of my life accomplish when none of it would matter the next day? Like, that's one of the things I'm talking about. Like, I was in a position where I was just so regularly, like, filled with, like, discontent and rage that, like, a, the, a, a normal interaction, pleasant niceties, I, I wasn't, I wasn't capable of like emo emotionally, mentally, like getting there in a work day. Um, and so I, I was just kind of like a, a standoffish dick to everyone I worked with because I didn't have the mental capacity to interact with people in any sort of way. All right, let's go back to burning ship. One of the themes of this video is letting go. Uh, I don't really know what comes next. I'm not scared of the future, or at least not any more than I generally am, ever. And uh, as for right now, uh, I think I want to cross that river. <laughs>